Yo, hello, what's up everyone? My name is Bilores and I am back with a new quest guide. This time we're gonna do the Horror from the Deep quest. So, where you can start off this quest is here uh, in the north of the Barbarian Outpost. The fastest way to go there is just teleport with your minigame, teleport to the Barbarian Assault. Anyway, so after that we will do this quest. So, uh, the requirements of skills and quests and all that crap are always in the description. I'm just very quickly gonna say what items you need. So, uh, air rune, fire rune, earth rune, water rune, uh, an arrow. I think it's whatever arrow you want, so there's no problem. A hammer, molten glass, two planks. Don't take just one, take two. 60 steel nails, I take 70 just because I can, I don't know why. Uh, a sword, whatever you want, but keep in mind that you will lose the sword during the quest. Uh, I took a black sword just because that was the only, one of the only swords I had banked that I could lose. So, um, a swamp tar uh, and a tender box, and I think that's pretty much about it. If I forgot something, just watch in the description and you guys will see if I forgot something. Anyway, so you can start off the quest by talking to Larissa, as I'm doing right now. So you go, uh, you just skip the options, with what. Okay, after that you will ask how you can help. But how can I help exactly? Okay, I'll help. Oh, and after that, give me a second. Uh, we will have to ask where is her cousin. And we will also have to ask how can I fix, fix the bridge. Okay guys, when that's done, you go all the way to the east until you will see a bridge. Okay, when you're at this bridge, you will use one of your planks on the, um, on the broken bridge. After that you will uh, cross the broken bridge. You will get some damage sometimes. I didn't get any damage but it's possible. Okay so yeah as I got right now. But you go over as I do right now. Then you are at the uh, eastern side of the bridge. And you use your other plank on the bridge. Alright so when that's done you go back to the barbarian outpost. Alright guys, when you're at the Barbarian Outpost, you go to the west, to the east, I'm sorry. And then you will see this uh, Agility Training Arena, that's why you need 35 Agility, I believe. Yeah, you just watching the... Yeah, if you could start a quest, well then it means that you can come in. But anyways, you go through this door. And after that, you go here, through the obstacle pipe and then you are in here i think i believe you have to do some challenges to pass here but yeah it's kind of easy you just have to drink some beer in different pubs and all that crap it's easy but then you have to talk to gun Joran or something like that and um yeah he will give us a key when he gave us the key you can choose you can um teleport to uh, Camelot, run up to Releca and then go through here or you can go which is much faster from the Barbarian Outpost over this stone to the lighthouse that's what I'm doing but when you're kinda low agility you, it seems that you fail a lot so you can choose between that you know alright guys so you open the door with your key and then you go in after that you make your way to the second floor uh, the second I believe no to the first floor yeah I'm sorry and then you have to search the bookcases okay and now you will have to take all three books so uh, you do that very quickly and then you will get those three books don't forget to read all those three books you don't have to read them actually but just spam click on them and uh, do it kind of fast as I'm doing right now so you read the journal you also read the diary and you will also have to read the manual so you do that very quickly as I'm doing uh, you just spam click like it's a long book you don't have to read everything of it you know uh, but yeah if you want to you can I never really 
read an entire quest book or something yeah but anyways after that when you read those three books you go upstairs and you use your molten glass on this uh, lighting mechanism after that you also use your swamp tar and your tinder box now you will see that it lights on and it starts turning around like a little bitch i don't fucking know what it's doing but yeah if you have it like me that means that you did it right after that you go back down you go back down again till you are here and then you go back to the iron ladder as you guys can see okay when you are here you will see like a large uh, strange wall you will have to use your earth rune on the wall you do yes also your air rune do you that yes fire rune as well so you and after that your uh, water rune as well so you just put every uh, single rune you that was required on it then you use your arrow I take an iron arrow you can do it whatever you want yes then you take a sword which sword you want but it's not like a dragon sword or a seven dormant sword because you will never see it back <laughs> all right guys now you should get ready for the fight what I recommend is some melee armor and weapons also some ranged uh, weapons and uh, armor and for ranged you should need like as I'm gonna show you should like need as much spells as I do you know you should be able to do the wind one wind cast one uh, water cast one earth cast and one fire cast you know because the final boss actually always changes color if I uh, changes white for example you will have to take the wind uh, like the the air um, the air cast um, blue means the water spells and so on you know uh, the orange means melee the brown means earth red means fire spells green means the range spells you know so you, it's really recommending having uh, all of those spells uh, also some ranged um, dingies and also some uh, magic why is this recommended if you don't have this you will only do like one or two you know you will only hit one or two and that's not the best so you can also take some food but just try taking as much spells as you can like four different types is recommended if you don't have as much uh, magic as me uh, well then just take like the bolt cast if you don't have this well just take like the strike cast you know just take as much as you can like the best you can and uh, yeah just do it like I'm doing I know it it seems kind of difficult but it's kind of easy you'll see in a second when I start off the fight alright guys get back to the door and when that's done you go back down when you're down here talk to Jussic we'll tell you a whole bunch of stuff we don't care about and then a cute little Dagonaut will come out of the water uh, if you're a low defense level I recommend you to use to come here to this safe spot and use uh, magic or ranged but since I'm kind of high defense for this quest I guess that I can just do melee uh, you can also pray uh, melee versus this guy but yeah he's kind of easy to kill uh, if you're light de defense I say it again just come here here's a safe spot you can attack you you know Alright, so I see you guys back when I kill this motherfucker. Alright guys, he's dead. And now uh, the mother will come up. Now, the mother uh, is the final boss I just talked about. Uh, you have to kill... Yeah, I will say what attack you have to cast. Which, which color. But I know that in this obstacles, I know that you can save spot him. Uh, I don't remember how exactly to do that, but yeah, you can uh, just pray for a ranged, I guess. Uh, anyway, so now he turned blue, I guess. So we are going to take our air staff and we're going to use uh, our blue strike on him. And as you guys can see, look, I, I don't know why, but yeah, I did it a little wrong. Uh, now he turns orange. 
so we can use uh, melee and so on so uh, what you have to uh, attack with is in the description I'm gonna uh, speed up this clip Alright guys, as you guys can see, we killed the uh, monster, we will get 2 quest points, 4662 uh, XP in each of ranged, magic and strength. I don't really care about strength, but still, kind of nice. Uh, so now I'm at a total of 118 quest points. Alright, we got 1 ranged level, fucking awesome. Uh, and after that, after this quest, you can do something else. I, I don't fucking know. What's happening? Okay, we have to go to here. Um, anyways, oh my god, I have to go out. I'm sorry. All right, so right now, what we will do is go up over here. So then you go up again over here, and this is what we are all waiting for. You talk to Josek. All right, and now Josek will let us choose. Uh, between Saradomen, Zamorak and Guttix. This is how you make your holy book. I'm gonna take Zamorak just because it's the best I need right now. Um, Zamorak. Okay, now you get a damaged book. And you have to put pages in it. Uh, for example, you can search in the GE for Zamorak pages. Like me. And then you have to put it in. And then you will get a Zeromarag book. Or a Guttix book. Or a Zerodomen book. Anyways guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this guide. If you did so please leave a thumbs up. That's always appreciated. And I will see you guys in the next uh, video. Which will probably be tomorrow.